So sometimes last week, um, some leaders in the city, including Horrible, uh, John Kerry, uh, came out to say that the city was not being run in how it should be. I'll not use his words, um, he'll have to say it himself. Uh, but also on Saturday night, the city experienced a bit of uh, floods, which we'll be looking at the pictures right there. Many motorists were stranded to different locations. Um, of course, they're stretching all the way from Nairobi to the near, nearby counties of Machakos. And um, Kenyans have been in the city have been complaining about the situation, raising questions as to the drainage. Is it the infrastructure? What exactly is the problem? Let's begin with you, Honorable KJ. Thank you very much, Sam. And yes, indeed, uh, leaders uh, from uh, extracted from the Kenya Kwanza Coalition did issue a press statement regarding the state of the city county. And it is true, uh, we spelt out what we feel is not working, especially from the highest office at City Hall. You have wanted to associate that with uh, the flooding in the city. And I'd like to, on the onset, say that we can't wholly uh, blame the situation of the flooding on just the leadership. We've also got to see the place for how we have developed as a community and look at what was traditionally our rivers, our riverbeds, the riparians, and, and, and so on, and see that we have actually uh, planted development in places that we shouldn't, even as the residents of Nairobi. But the buck stops at City Hall. I remember having a conversation with Governor Sakaja uh, a few months ago, where I was talking to him about the principle of making hay while the sun shines. I did uh, expressly uh, ask if there is any plans for working on the drainage in the city um, and, and around the city to ensure that there will be a good flow of drain water and storm water when the rains come. And the assurance I got from the governor was that everything has been done to clear the drainages, to clear the, water, the waterways. And, and I was assured that when the, when the rains come, that we will not be expecting floodings. But here we are. That is not the matter. The matter that we raised, Sam, was a matter of leadership. The least that this city expected from city leadership was a plan. At the moment, I can tell you that the city is running Kyududo. And that is a word that you are hesitating to, to say. How does that about. mean? The city is running laissez fair, haphazardly, <laughs> no plan, erratic reactionary efforts that are so disjointed that they do not speak to each other. The least this city expected was a plan, a master plan, a blueprint, a martial plan that is well developed, that tells us this is exactly where we are. These are the quick wins that are available for the city. This is what we are planning on the intermediate in the medium term. And for posterity, this is what we are setting foundations for. Such a master plan does not exist today. As we speak, the, 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 the city is running on, on the goodwill of what had been done previously by previous administration, completing the projects that were left, and nothing new has been pronounced as a master plan or as a blueprint. We do not even know what the leadership thinks of the Nairobi that we want to have. What we are getting are pronouncements that are disjointed. One morning, uh, the, the, they will wake up with a pronouncement that they have kicked uh, hawkers out of the city. The next morning, they will tell us that uh, uh, 70 story buildings are okay in the city and, uh, and, 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 and there is no need for zoning. The next thing we know is that uh, we have been allowed to film in the city center and so on. Very disjointed pronouncements. So um, uh, when you look back, Sam, the development of any city right. rests on a master plan. The last master plan that Nairobi had uh, the proper master plan must have been in the 40s. In the 70s, there was an attempt of, uh, of, 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 of putting up a municipal plan. After that, the only other master plan we have ever had was the one by Mayor Steve Kingori. You remember the very flamboyant mayor who came and called the city to a conference. I think it must have been uh, Safari Park and, uh, and, gave the, and gave this beautiful plan. It was called the Nairobi We Want. By, by Mayor Steve Kingori. After that, everything else has been super haphazard. Um, and even worse, from an administration 
that we expected so much from. So some regarding the press conference that we issued last, uh, last week, all I can say is that it did not have to come to this. However, the leadership of this city and no less the governor himself has brought it to what it has become. And there will be, it would be sacrilegious for leaders in the city to sit back and act like everything is okay. Well, uh, the, the preoccupation in City Hall is for the <coughs> governor to use uh, whatever resources he's using to pit leaders against each other in very petty squabbles yeah, that are unnecessary. You know, that's an accusation the governor has no right of reply here. So maybe you may not want to go there. At least I'll just say those are your opinions. I, I put it out as a, as, a, as a statement of fact, but the, the point I'm trying to make I mean, you, you're that saying that he's using resources to put leaders against each other. The, the, it's, it's, it's common knowledge, uh, Sam. It is out there. Um, and, so and how much money has he allocated to that? Let us not dwell on that, Sam. No, no, uh, you raised it. I asked you not to go there. You insist that it's a statement of fact. Sam, we have an entire city uh, to, to take care of, uh, and, and, and a discussion cannot be uh, no, no. come to the petting. This is what I'm saying, the, Honorable John Kerry. The, the issue You've is, raised an issue. Yes. I've told you the governor is not here for right of reply. You've said it's a statement of fact, and you're insisting on it. So it is fair that you put out the facts out there. If you don't have the facts, you take it back. Okay, I w for the interest of the continuation of this debate, I will take it back. The fact is that uh, there, there is money being spent on, uh, on pitting leaders against each other in very petty squabbles. Uh, and because we would not want to dwell on just the leadership in Nairobi, we can deal with the issues. And the point I was making, uh, Sam, is that the least that we expected from a leadership uh, uh, of the caliber uh, that, uh, that is led by the governor Sakaja was a master plan, a okay. plan as to how Nairobi ought to develop. Okay. Um, doesn't, take, doesn't negate the fact that he himself is involved in pitting leaders against each other within the city. And you might be surprised to hear it from even this panel. Honorable uh, Kerry, please, please, who are leaders in Nairobi. Desist from that. You have not told the facts. I'm well guided, so Sam. I will Let's once again say that those are your views and not those of <laughs> Citizen TV.